What is up, you guys? How are we liking this 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 camera quality, though? You get to see my face in HD. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the totally fugly backdrop. Um, everything is gonna be shifted in in a, in a little bit. We'll talk about that later. I'm I'm basically redoing this room, so it's better for YouTube. So. Yeah, I'll talk about that in another video, but for today, we're going to be talking about my Jarvis system, uh, which I like to personally call Narvis, not a rather very intelligent system, because it's, it's not AI. I, I wish it was AI. I wish I was that smart. So yeah, let, let's get into it. All right, so here's the whole setup so far. Um, I'm just going to run you through with uh, every every type of board I have here, and then I'll put the board and like the listing on the screen just so you guys know what I'm using and where you can find it. Obviously, here's the board of the hour. This is the LuxTech uh, voice recognition module. It comes with a microphone. You can just unplug it. This is what controls the entire system. Then I got these uh, knockoff Arduino boards. This is the Arduino Nano. Um, I got this because I didn't want the pins already installed in there. I wanted to install my own pins if I needed them and then wire in the wires myself. This is just a power cord that hooks into my uh, MacBook. Then we have my soundboard from Adafruit. Um, I don't remember which one this is off the top of my head, but I will put it up on the screen so you guys know. I think it has like nine or 10 spaces for sounds, but you can put multiple on each, I believe. This is just an audio amplifier. It's a 2.5 watt class D that hooks up to this speaker that I'm testing right now. And I might actually be replacing this one soon because it is extremely quiet. I don't know if that's my fault, if I'm doing something horribly wrong or if it's just not cutting it. You think it'd be good enough. It's pretty, it's hefty. Then over on the side here, um, this is just an SG92R servo plastic servo. I recently upgraded to Metal Gear servos just because I think uh, they're so much they're so much better for what I'm doing. It's much sturdier. Uh, basically this just plugs into it and then this will hook up to the actual uh, Arduino. So I have my laptop here which is my main power source for right now just because I don't have a battery pack hooked up to it yet. Um, actually the same battery pack that powers my forearm can be plugged into this but I'm just not gonna unplug it right now so we're gonna work off the laptop. So if you plug it in Listen. So Jarvis plays the voice on that he's online and ready. Just checking to make sure everything's everything's good. Oh. I didn't realize this was magnetic. It sticks to my laptop. That's really cool. Oh my god. Glasses are on because I'm blind. Basically how this works is that I'll speak into this microphone, um, it processes the command, and then it runs what I programmed for that command through the Arduino. And so like, I'll just give you an example. Jarvis, you there? Usually he's faster. Come on, Jarvis, don't embarrass me, man. But yeah, so that's that's the idea. Eventually, this this is gonna run the entire suit for the most part, minus the helmet and probably the forearms because, just because. You ever just forget what you're saying like mid sentence? One of the main things I did with this, or not main things, but one of the things I already did with this was I hooked up the back panels so the wings would flap. Um, when I said like, you know, the test flight thing, um, I'll throw up an example really quick right now. That caused a lot of problems with my suit up. Um, I didn't attach the wing properly to the exoskeleton and it just, it wouldn't fit together. So that was when I was using hot glue. Now I have one of these bad boys. So um, we're gonna be reattaching those back panels very soon. Right now I'm just working on the exoskeleton, which I will talk about in another video. Yeah, so that's the idea. I can even show you guys right now. We're on a flight test. So like, while that plays, you know, the wings are gonna go be like, so yeah, that's that's the idea. So let me let me show you guys how this works because I feel like it's it's a very complicated. Or not, it's actually not a complicated system. I'm just kind of dumb sometimes. It's very very self-explanatory. You're gonna be using this this uh, program. It's called Sample Train. It basically runs a program through the board that allows you to set a command with your voice, and it only recognizes your voice, by the way. So it's it's really really cool. I'm not even recording this. Hold on. Here's the VR sample train. So when you run this code, 
All right, so the code is uploaded. So now we're gonna open the serial monitor and see it gives me all these different commands that I can I can put into the serial monitor that will allow me to control this board. So what I've mainly used is train and load. So if you do train, I'm not gonna do it just because I don't have a, a command I wanna train it right now, but if you type in train and then the number you want to train it to, because there are like 70 or 80 slots that you can put the voice commands into. You basically record the command twice, so it recognizes it in two different forms. After that, you go to your main code. So it kind of comes with a pre-made code, but you have to really modify it in order to have it um, run these programs that you want it to. I already have, here are my servos, by the way. Here are the flaps. And then here's an LED. This was this actually came with the, um, the board, so you learn how to control this uh, this little blinking light right here. So it's just like an on-off command kind of thing. Wait, no it's not. My bad, it's actually it's actually on the Arduino. I'm, ugh. So here are, the, here are the commands I've already recorded. Got the on and off that I was just talking about. Um, and then we have the Jarvis there. But you've got this command. And so this will play, uh, this is set to the, the Jarvis there is set to the second uh, command. That's where this comes into play, where like you train it to a certain number. Got my servos in here. And then, so we're just gonna scroll through all this. So then you come to the commands. You basically, it recognizes the command and then it'll play my voice line. But I have a really cool thing, hold on. So let me just run this code. And then if you open the serial monitor, I made this look cool. Yeah, see, I, I, I think it's kind of fun. So yeah, now if I say like, hey Jarvis, so it, it shows you right here that it recognized what you said, uh, voice line number, th or command number three, and then it, you know, spits out the program. So that's how this basically works. So when it comes to Jarvis, or Narvis, that's that's the whole system so far. So that's what I have so far. I'm gonna add like a ton of like, just like fun little commands that I can say that'll like activate things in the suit, or like play a voice line or like a sound effect or something. But that that's like, that's a, that's a thing in the future right now. Um, right now I'm just trying to finish the suit. But um, one thing I'm going to do is we're gonna replace this thing. I ordered like a super, super small microphone. I'll put it up on the screen because it's like, it's in a bin somewhere, I can't find it. Um, but it's gonna be mounted somewhere in this chin piece. And then I'm also gonna have a second one in the chest piece just in case I wanna like control it uh, when I'm not wearing the helmet. That way I can still pick it up but there's gonna be a super small microphone in my chin so I can still speak when I'm wearing the helmet. As for containment, um, this is all gonna be contained somewhere in the chest. Uh, this speaker, which I will probably upgrade unless somebody out there knows like why it's not a speaker. Like it's super quiet. But yeah, otherwise I'm probably gonna replace that speaker. This whole thing will be contained. So I'm gonna design like a box that's gonna screw into the exoskeleton on the inside just so it's like all contained in one specific area. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any like fun commands I should program um, into Jarvis because uh, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I'll have some really strange stuff going on in my suit, but that's what makes it fun. You gotta make it unique. I was also talking to somebody earlier today on Instagram, they were talking about uh, Wi-Fi, using like a Wi-Fi board so they avoid like uh, wiring through the entire suit, which may be something I utilize in the future, um, just because I'm gonna have panels that move in the legs and that would be a pain to like thread all the, the wiring through the body. There's, there's a lot of upgrades to happen in the future. This isn't the finalized version at all. Maybe one day we'll go to a Raspberry Pi, maybe AI in the future. I, I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not very smart, this is like, this is the easy route, in my opinion. Um, there are so many other people who have done like cooler things with this kind of stuff, but I just want, I need some kind of voice recognition, I need Jarvis to talk to me, and I need suit control. And that's what I'm getting with this, so I'm satisfied with that for right now. So yeah, let me know, let me know if you have any ideas in the comments. Um, I am more than willing to program some weird stuff into my Jarvis board. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, more updates soon, I'll have some exoskeleton stuff and hopefully a forearm build progress tutorial video in the future. Yeah, bye guys.